Hello everyone. Now we will see the convolution property of DFT. It states that if capital X one K is a DFT of X one N and capital X two K is DFT of X two N, then the convolution of X one N and X two N is equivalent to the multiplication of Fourier of these two signals. How we can prove that? First, we will calculate the circular convolution of X1n and X2n by matrix method. Then we will calculate DFT of X1n and X2n. We will take the multiplication of those Fourier's and we will take the inverse discrete Fourier transform of that multiplication. If output of part 1 and the part 2 is same then we will say that this property is good. Let's see the program. We have taken the signal x1, signal x2. These are twiddle factors for taking dft and this w1 is for taking inverse dft. We have written the value of length of the signal n as 4. This part is for circular convolution we have written the matrix of circular convolution for x1 that is 1 2 1 this one will go over here 1 1 this 2 2 1 1 2 2 this 2 will go up 2 1 1 2 this 2 will go up 2 2 1 1 and this is x4 is the convolution of x1 and x2 we have plotted that let's check the output so output looks like this let's check the actual values of this output the, the actual values of, of the output if second part gives the exact value we will say that this property is true the second part we had calculated the individual Fourier's of signal x1 signal x2 taken the multiplication this is element by element multiplication and then we have calculated the inverse discrete Fourier transform of this x3 then we plotted it let's check the output output looks exactly the same let's check the actual numbers of this output so the exact values of the output also same so this property is Thank you.